Well, good morning again, my friends. Welcome to a very special place, a place like no other in Pennsylvania, a place known as the Seven Tubs. It's a unique geological formation along Wheelbarrow Run here in a portion of the Pinochet State Forest just outside of Wilkesboro. Let's ex explore this unique environment and check out some of the trails here and some of the beautiful sites. Over the last 12,000 years, Wheelbarrow Run has been weaving its way down a hillside into Laurel Run here, creating what can only be described as a miniature canyon. Let's go check it out. Now, this is one of those locations that is well known amongst locals, but not so well known outside of the region. And people do come here, like other places, to swim and hang out. But in terms of a geological uh, attraction, it's quite amazing. Now tell me if this is not an amazing place or what. It's absolutely beautiful. As we continue we're making our way up Wheelbarrow Run in the Seven Tubs natural area.
We're now making our way just above Wheelbarrow Run on a rocky footpath and the sun's beginning to come out. It's a beautiful morning. It's mid-September. It has the feel of fall. We had overnight temperatures and in the 40s, it was 46 degrees when I got here this morning, but it's already starting to warm up. Sometimes I just run out of adjectives to describe these places. I feel like it's such a privilege for me to be here. I appreciate it so much and I'm happy that I can show it to you, but it's truly a blessing. Um, we do so many things in our life. We work and we have our obligations and responsibilities and, and our stresses and nothing's perfect. But when you come to a place like this, it all goes away and God's creation it is perfect in its own unique way about that Seven Tubs natural area. One of the prettiest spots in Pennsylvania I've come across for sure. And you can visit the tubs and then go on your way or you can continue on a, a looping trail system. It goes for about two miles and of course that's what we're going to do. So please come along and let's continue the adventure down the trail. We are now following a yellow blazed nature trail. I don't know the name of it. I saw on the bulletin board where you park that it makes a loop, I believe, two miles. So it'll be a nice way to finish out the day and get a little bit different scenery. So this is pretty cool. I love how the scenery has totally changed. We're in a completely different, much drier looking environment. Mixed oak and pine forest here on this rocky slope. Got my new hiking shirt on today. I uh, went out and purchased some new gear from REI. I got a new pair of hiking boots. I'm going to be heading to the Great Smoky Mountains towards the end of October. And uh, it was time for me to re up on some hiking gear.
the trail's now taking us underneath these huge uh, transmission lines and that's actually quite an interesting view looking into the yonder this is actually a nice little surprise I mean I didn't know any of this was here I knew about the seven tubs I knew about wheelbarrow run I knew you could walk a little bit along the creek there I didn't really know about this trail though and I love that we're getting some different scenery and it's such a beautiful day I'm very happy right now we're now entering into what I refer to as the second prime hiking season and I say that there's six weeks in the spring uh, the last two weeks of April and the month of May and then that's the first great time to hike and then the last two weeks of September and the month of October. I think they're the best 12 weeks of the year and they're the time when you want to get out as much as possible. But uh, what's your favorite time of the year to hike or your favorite season? Let me know in the comments. Sometimes it pays to sneak off the uh, main trail and head down these little side trails and they oftentimes lead to little scenic spots, but sometimes they also lead to dead ends as well. But you don't know until you try, right? All right guys, well this is pretty interesting here because there is a section of trees that are heavily damaged and there was some type of uh, mini tornado or microburst or storm cell that came through this region at some point and did a good amount of damage. Wow. No question, guys. This place was hit with something fierce. This is all new growth, all sucker growth. This is where you pick up the poison ivy. Damn it. Yeah, this, this section is absolutely devastated. I just came across a lady who was asking me about the trail and she was saying she was having trouble following it and I couldn't really understand why because it seemed pretty obvious to me, but she had already come through this uh, section and I obviously hadn't. Wow, some major destruction in this area. Jesus. Mother Nature, what a powerful force.
we're beginning to approach uh, the seven tubs and wheelbarrow run once more and uh, so I think this is going to pretty much do it for today's hike um, this place was remarkable and uh, I may have to come back here again in about four or five weeks when we're in the peak of fall and just refilm and do like a cinematic silent film because I know what time to get here now with the lighting and uh, this place is special. You're special. And uh, this country's special. And um, that's it. Thanks for coming along for another adventure. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you for coming along. And uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Gator out. I'm filming this video on September 11th and I'm just sitting here and thinking about that day and all that's transpired in the last 20 years and I know we're having some very tough times in this country right now and I don't get political on this channel but I want to say it's the greatest blessing in the world to live in this country and to be an American citizen and we should all be thankful for that.